Hi, and welcome to another edition of Automobilia. It's the show that you love, all about collecting. Of course, my name is Gary Ashburn. You know me now as Gazza. And my great mate here, Lawrence Lambert. Hiya. Now, we'll be going out here today again with two special uh, contestants with £150 to spend on the items that they love. And they're going to be looking for something just a bit different, aren't they? Yep, And hopefully. a bit special. And at the end of the day, we have a panel of experts and a judge who's out there who's going to decide the best buy and, of course, perhaps the worst. <laughs> Prize, and knowing yeah. my luck, yeah, it'll be oh, me. I don't know. I reckon it's your day today. Don't <laughs> I you? hope so. I've seen yeah. some interesting things actually. It's amazing, isn't it? Well, it I've really seen, is. You know, everything from like model cars to everything to oh, MG collectibles. Yeah. And, and here at the uh, National Motor Museum in the New Forest, this big automobile event is just it's incredible. Fantastic. Yeah. Big event. It certainly is. So, should we go and meet our contestants? All right, and see I'm going this way. Okay, I'll go that way as well. Then. Take I'll care. Think, yeah, see you later. All right, this man win. Yeah, yeah, bye. Hi, now my next contestant is Ro. How you doing, Ro? Well, Ro thanks. Sprack from the Isle of Wight, eh? Yeah. Brought a son with you, I yeah. see. Now you're a man after my own heart, of course. Uh, well into the models and particularly Fire Brigade. That's right, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. long have you been collecting those? Seven and a half, eight years. Have you? Yeah. yeah. And you are actually in the fire service. That's right, yeah, on the you? island, yeah. Yeah. So this should be good fun for you. Yeah, it should be. It should be good fun. You into other stuff as well, or just Yeah, the I like models? trucks. And yeah. Other bits and pieces, yeah. Well, we're going to go and have a look, and he's of course got £150 to spend, so we're going to see what we can get, eh? Let's see. have a butcher's. Come on in. Let's have a look. See you later. What a fantastic sunny day we're enjoying today at the National Motor Museum. Now meet my team. This is Tracy. Tracy from the Isle of Wight ride. Right, and she's Rose partner. And what did you collect, Tracy? You were telling me earlier. Teapots. Uh, <clears throat> automotive teapots? Yeah. Oh, good, good. And good start. BMW convertibles. Good. And anything unusual. Right, now you've got your money, haven't you? Yeah, I've got my money in my pocket. Good, you've got your £150. Anything unusual? Yeah. I think I can help you. Let's right. go. This is interesting, isn't it? Yeah. There's a few bits here. Wow, some stuff here. Some more fire engines there. Is that what you've seen? I've seen that. Well, they Yeah, they are. Um, are these, some of these cool gifts since brought out recently again, haven't they reissued? These, some the, of these? these ones have been reissued. Yeah. Um, badged up in various brigades logos. Sure. This is one of the earlier toy version ones for, for, for kids. But yeah. Still, quite a lot of the collectors would want those. Though, yeah. In the collections. Yeah. If you're missing something, it's always nice. To that's know. right. Yeah. What's the one next to that as well? That's got the figure. That's a cool gear again. That's an old Bedford. Oh yeah, with a fire mini. It's been it's been repaired at some stage, so. Oh yeah. That sort of knocks the value of it a bit. Yeah. It's nice stuff. At a place like this, you can pick up some of the really old stuff as well as the modern. That's you? right. Yeah. So you get a, a mixture of yeah. both. Yeah. So we don't want to spend any money here, or do you um, want to keep moving? No, I think we'll keep moving. All right. Yeah. Cheers. Let's go. Thanks. Right, Tracy. Now you said something unusual. Yeah. So this is pretty unusual. Yeah. What do you think of that? Come here, come here. That's all right. Show the guys, actually, because that is a really interesting piece. Yeah. That, that's probably about late 40s, early 50s, and it's... Made by... Well, it's made by a company called Cromwell, who specialised at that particular area, and I think they might still be going. But this will probably be something like a hill climber's helmet, yeah. not necessarily a Grand Prix helmet as such. Um, slight damage. So, although I know you like this, yeah? yeah? It's pretty appealing, isn't it? Yeah. But I, I'm, I'm not so sure that that would be such a great buy if, it, if it's got that, that uh, amount of damage. Um, a rubber inner, which was uh, of the time. And, and cork. Yeah, I reckon that's probably cork based. And it's probably about 50 or 60 pounds worth. But nice, but we're going to say no, no? No. No, right. But I thought something like that would do it. Yeah. Yeah, a Daimler yeah. grill. Yeah. Um, I don't know, probably early 60s, I reckon. Now, there's a little bit of damage. Just here, you can see some scratches there where the price mark is. But, very nice collectible. Yeah. You said unusual, didn't you? Yeah, unusual. Could you see that in your home? Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Buy it. Yeah. <laughs> How much is it, though, Emma? Let's see, wait a minute. 30. 30. Too much. All right, do you reckon you could uh, haggle? Yeah. OK, let's go and haggle. OK, uh, hi, we like this very much, don't we, Trace? I'm yeah, glad about do. that. <laughs> good, good, uh, we've had a chat. Yeah. All right. We've got our cash, but we want to know what your best price is. Well, it's a little bit damaged. Yeah, we appreciate. noticed, yeah. Um, 
30 pounds. Uh, it's 20, uh, 20. Tracy, come 20, on. What time of the day? 15, quarter to four. 20. 20. Yeah. 20. Do 20. 20. 20 yes. for cash. Okay. Yeah. You Pay the it. man, Trace. Well done. And a good start, I think. Thanks very much. Pleasure. Is it real? Of course it's real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. All right, let's go. Yeah, pleasure. All right, thank you. Thank you. Bye now. So, Lawrence and Tracy get a grill for £20. Meanwhile, the other side of the auto jumble finds Gary and Ro still looking for their first buy. Hey, this is different for yeah, you, isn't it, eh? This Shuko stuff, quite hard to get over here as well, isn't it? Yes. It's good quality, but of course, very little of it around. There's very little of this stuff around, yeah. And for a fireman, that's one, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tin plate. Yeah, it's yeah. nice, isn't it? it is quite nice. unusual. Yeah. Have you seen that before? I've seen this one before at the show last year when we were over. Have you? Yeah. yeah. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. Nice with a diorama. There's some more fire ones over here, I can see as well. In there, a couple over here. Look. Yeah, these are nice. Yeah. Yeah. What scales are you collecting, or are you not bothered about that? You just. I've got various scales. I mean, different cabinets of different scales. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. okay. So you. Yeah. You just go for the subject, really. That's it. Yeah. 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 These are one forty. These are nice. They are nice, aren't yeah. they? Fifty-seven euros. Is it? That would be euros, wouldn't it? Sort of yeah. Roughly. It's gonna be... Um, 40 pounds. About, about 40 pounds, yeah. It's yeah. about, about the right price, yeah. I would have thought, for that. There's another one there as well, isn't there? Another what have they got there? Yeah, I like them. Different, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, and of course, really hard to get in England. These are, yeah, these are difficult. It's amazing get. how our little Shuko gets over here, you know, it yeah. really is. And, and when you do get it, it just goes ever so quick. But they're That's nice right. models, those. I think we'll have them. Yeah? Yeah. 57, 57. 42 pounds. 42, what are we going to do for the two? £80. £80 for the two. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So you actually come over from Germany yeah. every year, do you, yeah, for this yeah. show? Yeah. Do you find a lot of the English collectors are struggling to get uh, uh, Shuko, yeah? The moment is a bit hard to sell it everywhere. In Germany really? and any of uh, Yeah. Uh, Oh, I know. I know, because I used to work for a magazine, you know, yeah. that does models, and um, these were always very popular because the quality yeah. is very good. Yeah, very high quality. And yeah. um, uh, certainly in England, they, they were always very hard to get. Yeah. Some were imported, but there's some collectors who just get them yeah, and they go a bit, quick. Uh, yeah. But uh, oh, I'm glad. I think you've done well, though. Yeah, good. I think so. Yeah. Thank you. Look at this. Oh, oh, right. Wow. Really nice. Um, yeah, teapots. Yes. Okay, let's. I was going to say. Tell me about this. I don't know very. Well, I know very little about teapots, but. Well, they used to have these in the older days, young, older. So, time. what sort of year do you think this is? 1930. 30s. Yeah. Right. And they used to. It's olo inside. Yeah. And when they used to fill it up, they used to all like just crack. So it was just. Oh, right, so when you pick it up to pour, pour it, the it. pot is as hot, hot. as what's inside, yeah. so you really couldn't get much no. use out of it. No. Do you think that is actually original to, to the, the lid is original to the yeah. pot? Yeah, yeah. You're keen on this? Yeah, I'm very keen. 65. It's a bit much. Well, we did we did okay with the uh, the grill, so yeah. how do you feel about haggling again? Haggling, yeah. Come on, let's, down let's to... ask the lady, shall we? Yeah. Excuse me? How much? We like this. Yeah. What's your best price on that one? We'll do sixty pounds on there. Sixty. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're happy. Have it. Buy okay. it. Okay. Thank you. It's very a much. sale. Thank you. Thank Pay you the lady. So as we go into the break, both teams have seventy pounds left to spend on automobilia. Gary and Roe have two German-built model fire engines, and Lawrence and Tracy have snapped up a grill and a teapot. Back soon. Welcome back to the Auto Jumble at the National Motor Museum, where Gary and Lawrence help a viewer each buy the most interesting and potentially valuable Auto Jumble for £150 each. Let's join Gary and Roe. I wonder how old Lawrence is getting. <laughs> yeah. We're not doing bad, are we? No. Hey, here's one for you, isn't it? What have we got here then? I don't know. What makes that? I've never seen that before. No, I haven't. This is, what make is it? It was called Go Gonio. Yeah. But now it goes under the name of Caden. So this is old Gonio. Oh, stuff. so it's the same company, yeah. And yeah. from Czechoslovakia. No, yeah. Czech. Oh right, okay. They split. Of course, yeah. From the Czech Republic. So it's Czech Republic, yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's tin plate. Yeah, it's yeah, nice. Yeah, we see that. That's quite it? nice. And the detail, you know. Yeah. If you um, lift the bonnet up, you've got all the engine detail. And, right, and it's amazing, there. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I've not seen them, you know, in England before. I mean, no. are they quite rare? No, they're here? very rare. That's a half track, you see. Sure. Military How long have they been going? 
Oh, well, as far as we know, about 15 years. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Do you, do you get many of them yourself? Yeah, I, I collect them. That's, do I, you? I've got a full set of every... Oh, wow. <laughs> got a loft. Yeah, yeah. 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 It takes a so lot of space up. These are it? duplicates. So how many but, is there roughly in the, the set? Uh, think, well, in these big boxes, is about 30. Yeah? yeah. But then uh, the stuff like that over there. Yeah, the, uh, I was just looking at your tractors, yeah. Yeah, yeah they look interesting. Look at yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at they look really interesting. Oh, yeah. This is a big sort of interesting tractors at the moment, yeah. generally, isn't there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, they, these, uh, they, 10 years ago, well, whenever communism finished, sure. I went over there and then I was taken to a department store and yeah. they had a boy's toy and a girl's toy. That, that, and the boy's toy was the tractor. And oh, there, wow. there was a mountain of them. Yeah. That was it? And that yeah. was the boy's toy. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah they're uh, great. The, and um, the incredible thing about it, if you look at this for engi engi engineering and ingenuity, yeah? See, yeah. it's got a handbrake on, so I select first gear and it drives through that wheel. <laughs> <And then laughs> Second year. Yeah. Put the handbrake on. That's faster than my wife goes up here in her car now. I tell <laughs> you, you. Yeah. you can even plough in reverse. Pick it with that. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, they've now broadened the range to include, uh, you know, things yeah, like. They're nice. Uh, wow. Oh, they're nice. They are, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I think they're lovely. Yeah. And the implements. I mean, the great. You've got actually working implements. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be very easy to sort of build a collection, really, once oh, you yeah. got into it, wouldn't I, it? That's the danger. Yeah. 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 Um, we always say that that collectors ought to carry a health warning because you've actually got one, you're going to want more generally. Detailing that. Yeah, the it's national great, health, isn't the it? national health don't have treatment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, be warned. I love this as well. Yeah. And this is what twenty-four pounds, and the trailer with comes the trailer, with it yeah, as well. Yeah, it comes with the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's a the massive kit down there. Yeah. That's that's got everything, you know. Wow. Yeah, you can get the bar. So majority the, of this, if you, if it, I mean, if you, if like a viewer's <coughs> looking for this, you'd be looking for what, what name generally at the moment would they more likely to be seen? Would it be the name of Caden? Caden, yeah. Caden. It's very scarce. Yeah, it's, sure. You don't find it very often here. No. Yeah. So if you, on their next trip to Prague, they might find. <laughs> good shoot, good there's excuse a, for a weekend in Prague. There's a maybe. tiny shop in the middle of Prague that stocks it. A yeah. tiny little wow. shop. Yeah. Well, I think it's incredible because it, it's stuff that you can't really get, it's isn't it? it? You just can't Something get it. different, yeah. and of course it has that feel of the old sort yeah. of nostalgia of, of uh, Tim Plate as well, isn't it? And Stories yeah, as they were. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's superb. Yeah. yeah. And this is so. We've got something here going to add yeah, to I'll our go, collection. Yeah, I'm going to go with that fire engine then. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have to have one of them tractors and trailers, I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah they're that. good. I'm going to go from here. Yeah. What are we going to do on the two? What have we got? Uh, 32, 24... That's euros, I'm hoping. No, it's pounds. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Worth a try. That's 56. Yeah. Uh, I'll do... Um, I'll knock you... Uh, I'll knock you a five off. Excellent. 56, yeah. that's uh, 51. 51, yeah. 51, We'll yeah. have a deal on that. Ah, Tracy, look, BMWs. Yeah. Now, not so much unusual, right? We've done some unusual ones. Yeah. Let's do something more regular. You like BMWs, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I big, do. Big fan. Convertibles. Ah, convertibles. Yeah. So what are we looking at? Maybe a Z3 or a Z8 or something? Z3. Z3? Yeah. Any colour? Red one, please. OK. Can we... Ah, oh, right, can we have a closer look? Yeah. Ah, I wonder if I can just... Sorry, I got it. Yeah. Pretty cool, yeah? Yeah. Now, that's... Uh, 143rd scale. That's almost like a classic collector's scale, really. But that'll look nice on your tabletop yeah, somewhere. Yeah, on my mantelpiece. Yeah. Is Ro a BMW fan, is he? Yeah, he likes oh, it. Oh, so both of you yeah. like it. So well, this, this would be a good buy then, yeah? £20. Well, we've got enough. Um, do you want to go for it? Yeah, I do. Buy it. Red? Sure on red? Red. OK. OK, red. Fine, we'll go thanks. for that. I wonder how old uh, Lawrence is getting on. I mean, we're yeah. nearly about done, haven't we? We are, yeah. Some interesting things here. These are nice. Yeah. Oh, certainly, I like these. Some bits and pieces, yeah. weren't you? I like these. It's my, what's known as a micrometer. Measures yeah. down to thousands, thousands of inches or thousands of millimetres. Yeah. Eight quid. It's it? quite old, I would think, as well, isn't it? Yeah. I should imagine it is. I don't know, but I should imagine yeah. that's quite old. It's in inches. Well, we haven't it's got much left. We're going to no. add to the collection. Yeah, what I want for their DTIs. 
10 pound, 10 and 18. Would that be calibrated or? You can get them calibrated, it's not yeah. a problem. Oh, right. We'll have a go with them, I think. Shall we? Yeah. That's about us done. That's then, about us it? done. Yeah. Well, we've had fun. <laughs> okay, can we get these, please? Can we have these, please? Yeah. Cheers. Well, you're interested in the DJI and the, uh, and a, and the and, mic. And the gauge, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So, Sorry? what do you want to give for them then? What do you want to, what do you want to make? Well, uh, micrometer's got to make a favour, really. Right. Yeah? And your DTI? And the DTI, well, that's 10, so do that for eight. So, do what's that, that for eight? five and eight? That's 13. Eight and 13 pounds, yeah? Excellent. Right. Yeah? Will that, that do the point. job? That's it. Okay. Brilliant. Great then. Thanks very much. Yeah, you can go and do some serious measuring <laughs> yeah. now and We're get your cars put right, right, okay? Yeah, we will do. Yeah. That's Thanks it. a lot. Thank Make you. sure it's accurately done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. Like that. Ah, yeah, that's pretty fantastic. But I think it might be too much money for us, seeing that we've only got, what, 50 pounds left? 50 pounds. Yeah, uh, interesting. This, this is a reproduction on canvas, okay? It's probably worth about 1,100 pounds, so, but it's a beautiful picture. And it's by an artist called Alfredo de la Maria, and he's renowned for these kind of like Monegasque uh, crowd scenes. Uh, and that's Trontignon, very famous driver, coming up the hill, coming up the Beau Rivage, and Sterling Moss is on the extreme right, overtaking. In fact, uh, it's full of action, and wherever you stand in a room, you the cars are coming at you. Yeah. But too much money for us. Nice? Shame. Good try, yeah. I particularly like this. Yeah, that's nice. Um, let's get close on this. this. This is the start of, this is a photograph, right? Yeah. The start of the 1955 Monaco Grand Prix, so they're at the start finish line. And the reason why I know that, you can see Fangio driving the number two car, that's the Mercedes. Uh, Ascari to his left, and then Sterling to his left. But it's signed, and that's curious. It's always good to have a signature. Now the watchword is buy what you like, not what you think is going to make money. If you like it, buy, buy it, it, because that way it will give you pleasure. Yeah. And you like that? I like I mean, it. I it's provocative, period. Yeah. I don't like even it. Roe would like it, wouldn't he? Yeah. But I think, well, you know, we can ask the guy how much it's going for. Maybe we've only got 50 pounds left. We might be able to make a, a, a killing on it. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, sure. Um, we like everything. Of course you do, yes. Yeah, <laughs> best, best under But we've only got 50 pounds. I'm just yeah. wondering how much the photograph would be. Could you, could you meet us on that? Yes, I could. Good. Yeah, no problem. There you yeah. go. There you yes. go. All right, well, we've like got it? 50 pounds. Yeah, I do. Yes. Like okay. And uh, I think we'd, we'd like to buy it, wouldn't we? Yeah, I would buy it. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we were just saying, it's Paul Freire that signed that. That's Paul Freire who signed it, yes. And is he on the he's, grid? He's just a I bit further back, find, isn't he? I think you find this is Paul here. Right. Yeah, now, it's now not he's very distinct, but it's, it's definitely his right. signature. He's a Belgian driver, wasn't he's he? He's a Belgian driver, And uh, yes. did he drive for Ferrari? I think he I did. I believe so, yes. Yeah, yeah. Right, so good. A nice keepsake. It is, yeah. Tracy? It's a, good, it's a good picture. Very, very good value, 50. I think it's a steal. We should yeah. go for it. Give him the money. <laughs> <laughs> we can win with this. That's really kind of Right, thank okay. you. Thank All right, very much thank indeed. Right. So, with time up and money spent, let's see what both teams bought. Gary and Rose spent £80 for two rare German-built fire engine models, then £51 on a selection of Czech Republic tractors, finishing off with a tester. Lawrence and Tracy bought a slightly damaged Daimler grill for £20, an antique motoring teapot for £60, a BMW model for £20, and a motorsport picture for £50. But which team has got the most interesting and most potentially valuable automobilia? Okay, the hour is passed and we spent all our cash and we're joined by our special guest, Jonathan Vickers, who's going to be our judge from Bonhams. So, Gazza, what did you buy? Tell well, us. Well, we did well, didn't we, Ryan, mate? We? Now, obviously, Rose, a big fan of the models, close to my own art, so we were very much in that area, weren't we? Yeah. He started off, something that sort of took our eye was this tin plate, a modern tin plate, sort of tractor, wasn't it? Actually got the gears and everything. That's it. Great fun with that, a real, a real big boy's toy, that, isn't it? But, collectible as well. Then we picked up a couple of Shuko models which are quite hard to find in this country aren't they? That's right yeah. Uh, but great to add to your collection and then again yet yeah, another tin plate version of a, of a fire service vehicle because Roe being a fireman that's what's close to his own art. Then we ended up with a, a little micrometer there and a, and a few little tools to do a few jobs with so something that means a lot to you but that's it. also yeah. you were happy with the prices weren't you? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Well Gaza sounds good to me but Tracy likes anything unusual 
and BMWs. So we did okay, didn't we? We started with a Daimler grill, which we yeah. got very cheaply. A BMW Roadster, because I know you're a fan. Uh, a photograph from Le Mans, or rather that's the Monaco one we ended up with, wasn't yeah. it? But the piste de la resistance is this teapot from the 30s. And how do we know it's original? Because it says OK T for two on the number plate. So, Jonathan? I would say you're right. The best piece is definitely the saddle teapot. It's a fantastic little thing. Um, it's 30s, it's a great colour. It's not one of the rarest colours, but it's a good colour. I would say that's probably going to be worth about £100, something like that. Ooh, oh, so we doubled our money nearly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Monaco Grand Prix, fantastic again, signed by Paul Frere. It's uh, Ascari, Moss and Fangio, I think, in the front there. Uh -huh. And uh, I would say that that's probably worth about £60 or £70. Good, good, we're going well. Yeah. Uh, Dame Le Grill, around about £30. You've got to find the chap that's got the car. Right, OK. Um, micrometer, maybe £10, £15, something like that. Good little thing. Uh, the tin plate, very nice, very collectible. Tin plate, always good and collectible things. Fire engines, tractors. I would say the tractor is probably worth about 30 or 40 pounds. Keep it in that condition, one day it will be more. Yeah. Um, the fire wagons, close to your heart. I know you're a, an avid collector of fire things. Um, I would say all of those together, probably about 80 or 100 pounds, something like that. Wow. Uh, so, Fantastic. Jonathan, really, both teams have done very well, very, yeah? Very, very well indeed, yeah. And if you had to stick your neck out, the one piece you think would be... It's got to be the Saddler teapot for me. Ah, yeah. here he is, eh? All right, listen, we've had a super day, as usual, yeah, guys? Everyone yeah, agrees. we're shaking, yeah, we're, we're yeah. It's 2-2. Two, two. Well done, Tim. Right, we'll see you again soon on Automobilia. Take care. See you soon. Bye Ta-da. Now.